Have you ever wondered about the captivating gems of history and culture in Prague? Our journey begins with the majestic Prague Castle. Nestled in the heart of the Hradkini district, this monumental structure stands as a testament to the city's rich past and architectural prowess. As you approach the castle, you'll be struck by its sheer size and grandeur. The castle complex, one of the largest in the world, spans a staggering seven football fields in length, but it's not just the size that amazes, it's the blend of architectural styles that truly captures the imagination. From the stern, imposing Romanesque structures to the intricate details of Gothic design and the flamboyant flair of Baroque architecture, Prague Castle is a visual feast for history and architecture enthusiasts alike. Now let's delve deeper into the castle's heart. Here you'll find the awe-inspiring St. Vitus Cathedral, a Gothic masterpiece that took over six centuries to complete. Its towering spires reach towards the sky, a sight that leaves you feeling both humbled and inspired. Next we wander down the charming Golden Lane. This picturesque street, once home to goldsmiths, is lined with tiny colorful houses, each with a story to tell. It's like stepping back in time, and you can almost hear the whispers of the past as you stroll down this enchanting lane. Lastly, we visit the Royal Palace, the seat of Bohemian kings since the 9th century. Today, it serves as the office of the Czech president, but its historical significance and architectural grandeur remain undiminished. A visit to Prague would be incomplete without experiencing the grandeur of Prague Castle. It's more than just a castle, it's a journey through the ages, a testament to the city's resilience, and a symbol of Prague's undying spirit. So when you visit Prague, make sure to set aside ample time to explore this historic marvel. You'll leave with a deeper appreciation of the city's rich history and a camera full of unforgettable memories. And who knows, you might just find yourself falling in love with Prague just like the countless others who've been charmed by its timeless beauty. Crossing the Vltava River, we encounter the iconic Charles Bridge. This remarkable structure, spanning the river's breadth, is a testament to the grandeur of Gothic architecture. Its construction is a story of stone and strength, a monument to the architectural prowess of the 14th century. The bridge's design is a symphony of masonry, boasting 30 Baroque-style statues. Each statue on the bridge has a story to tell, history frozen in stone. Among the silent stone spectators that line the bridge, you'll find saints and patron figures, each one a chapter in Prague's rich tapestry of history. The craftsmanship that went into the creation of Charles Bridge is nothing short of extraordinary. The bridge is not just a way to cross the river, but a journey back in time. As you tread upon its cobblestones, you walk the same path as the kings, queens, and citizens of yesteryears. The statues, though weathered by time, bear silent testimony to the historical events that shaped the city. They have watched seasons change, wars fought and peace return, all while standing guard over the ever-flowing Vltava River. Charles Bridge is more than just a crossing, it's a gallery of Gothic art, a timeline of history, and a symbol of the city's endurance. Each stone, each statue, each arch, tells a story of its own. Charles Bridge, a testament to Prague's rich history, is a sight to behold. Moving on we come across the vibrant Old Town Square. This bustling heart of Prague is a feast for the eyes with its array of colorful buildings that line the square. Each building tells a story of different epochs, their architectural styles serving as a timeline of the city's rich history. In the midst of this architectural tapestry standing tall, is the imposing structure of the Tin Church. With its Gothic spires reaching skyward, it's an iconic part of the Prague skyline. The church, with roots dating back to the 14th century, offers a glimpse into the past with its splendid interior adorned with rich ornamentation and art. But the Old Town Square is not only about buildings, it's a living, breathing part of the city that never sleeps. Day or night the square is alive with a variety of events and performances, from the charming Christmas markets that light up the winter nights to the summer concerts that fill the air with music, there's always something happening. Street performers, artists and musicians add to the lively atmosphere, making every visit a unique experience. As the sun sets, the square transforms into a magical place, the golden light reflecting off the cobblestones and the illuminated buildings casting long shadows. It's a sight to behold, a moment to be savored. Experience the pulse of Prague at the Old Town Square. Next we find ourselves before the fascinating Prague Astronomical Clock. This captivating timepiece is more than just a way to tell time. It's a testament to the ingenuity and craftsmanship of the early 15th century. The clock, 
fondly known as the Orlage, dates back to 1410, making it the third oldest astronomical clock in the world, and the oldest one still in operation. The clock's face is a marvel of medieval design, a blend of astronomical and calendar dials. The former represents the position of the sun and moon in the sky as well as various astronomical details, while the latter portrays the months and their corresponding zodiac signs. But the true spectacle begins when the clock strikes the hour. A procession of twelve apostles sets into motion, each appearing in the two small windows at the top. Below, other animated figures spring to life including vanity, represented by a figure admiring himself in a mirror, and greed, a miser holding a bag of gold. The skeleton, symbolizing death, inverts an hourglass and tolls a bell, signifying the passing of another hour. A rooster crows, the bell rings, and the spectacle ends leaving spectators in awe contemplating the passage of time and the universe's mysteries. A marvel of human ingenuity, a symbol of Prague's rich history, and an embodiment of our fascination with time and space, the astronomical clock a treasure of Prague never fails to mesmerize. South of the Vltava River we discover the historical enclave of Vysorod. This hidden gem, nestled away from the bustling city center of Prague, is a testament to the city's rich history and vibrant culture. Steeped in legend and folklore, Vysorod is a place where the past comes alive. At the heart of Vysorod, you'll find fascinating historical monuments that pay tribute to the city's illustrious past. Each of these structures tells a unique story, painting a vivid picture of the epics that have shaped Prague. The fortress walls of Vysorod, for instance, stand as silent witnesses to the city's turbulent history, their imposing presence a constant reminder of the bygone eras. And then there's the St. Peter and St. Paul Church, a remarkable piece of architecture that dominates the Vizarad skyline. This neo-Gothic church with its twin spires reaching for the heavens, is a sight to behold. Inside you'll find an exquisite display of Art Nouveau frescoes, a testament to the city's artistic prowess. But Vizarad is more than just a collection of historic structures, it's a place where history meets the present, where the echoes of the past blend seamlessly with the rhythms of modern life. Whether it's the locals enjoying a sunny afternoon in the park, or the artists capturing the beauty of the landscape, Vysorod is a living, breathing part of Prague. Vysorod, a place where history and culture intertwine. We now explore Yosefov, Prague's former Jewish quarter. This area, nestled within the heart of the city, is a testament to the rich Jewish history that has shaped Prague for centuries. One cannot speak of Yosefov without mentioning the stunning Spanish synagogue. This architectural marvel with its Moorish influence is named after the country where the style originated. Inside, the synagogue is a riot of colors and patterns, with intricate ornamentation gracing every surface. Its grandeur is truly a sight to behold, and its historical significance as the newest synagogue in the Jewish quarter only adds to its allure. Next, we delve into the Old Jewish Cemetery, one of the most important Jewish historical monuments in Prague. This cemetery served as the only burial ground for the Jewish community from the early 15th century until 1787. Its tombstones, stacked one upon another due to lack of space, are silent witnesses to the passage of time. The cemetery's melancholic beauty and the stories it carries make it a poignant reminder of the Jewish community's resilience and strength. Yosefov, more than just a district, is a living museum. Every corner, every stone has a story to tell. Tales of triumph, loss, and survival. It is a testament to the enduring spirit of the Jewish people and their significant contribution to Prague's rich tapestry of culture and history. Yosefov, a poignant reminder of Prague's diverse heritage. Our journey continues to the National Museum of Prague. A grand edifice that stands majestically at the heart of Wenceslas Square, this museum is a treasure trove of knowledge and insight. The National Museum is the oldest museum in the Czech Republic, its roots tracing back to the early 19th century. As we step into the museum, we are greeted by a vast array of collections that span various fields. From art to history, from natural history to music, the museum houses an impressive array of exhibits that cater to a wide range of interests. The art collection is a visual feast, boasting works from across the globe and across the ages. The history section, on the other hand, takes us on a journey through time, revealing the layers and complexities of Prague's past. From prehistoric times to the present day, the museum offers a comprehensive look at the city's rich history. The natural history collection is equally intriguing, featuring a stunning array of specimens from the natural world. From minerals to mollusks, from fossils to flora, the collection provides a fascinating glimpse into the diversity and wonder of nature. 
Situated in the heart of the city, the National Museum of Prague is more than just a repository of artifacts. It's a vibrant, living testament to Prague's rich cultural heritage, a place where the past and present converge in the most beautiful of ways. The National Museum, a gateway to Prague's rich past. Next we venture into the green expanse of Petron Hill. This verdant retreat in the heart of Prague offers a refreshing change from the city's urban buzz. It's a place where nature and history meet, creating a unique blend of beauty and culture. The gardens of Petron Hill are a horticulturalist's delight, boasting a wide variety of flora that paints the landscape with a vibrant palette of colors. From the blooming roses in the rose garden to the charming cherry trees, it's a green paradise that captivates the senses and soothes the soul. Towering over the lush gardens is the Petrin Tower, a tall steel framework structure that is often described as Prague's answer to the Eiffel Tower. It's an architectural marvel that offers panoramic views of the city, making it a popular spot for those seeking the perfect Prague snapshot. But Petrin Hill is not only about gardens and views, it also hosts attractions like the Pantheon, a hall of fame dedicated to important figures in Czech history. This monument, with its grand neoclassical design, is a silent testament to the country's past, paying homage to those who have shaped it. Petron Hill is a place where you can lose yourself in the beauty of nature, marvel at architectural wonders, and immerse yourself in the rich tapestry of Prague's history. Petron Hill, a green oasis amid Prague's urban landscape, we return to Prague Castle to visit the stunning St. Vitus Cathedral. Tucked within the heart of this historic complex, this cathedral is an exemplary display of Gothic architecture. This isn't your everyday church, it's a place where centuries-old traditions meet intricate design all wrapped up in a grand scale that's nothing short of breathtaking. The cathedral's foundation stone was laid in the 14th century and it took nearly 600 years to complete. Imagine that, six centuries of dedication and patience resulting in this architectural masterpiece that we see today. Each stone, each pillar, each vaulted ceiling tells a tale of the passage of time and the unwavering commitment of generations. But the grandeur doesn't stop at the towering spires and intricate stone carvings. Step inside, and you'll find yourself in a world of color and light. The stained glass windows of St. Vitus Cathedral are a sight to behold. Crafted by some of the most talented artisans of the time, these windows paint stunning biblical scenes in radiant hues. As sunlight streams through, the entire cathedral is bathed in a kaleidoscope of colors, creating an ethereal atmosphere that's both awe-inspiring and humbling. Standing tall and majestic, St. Vitus Cathedral is more than just a place of worship. It's a testament to the artistic prowess and spiritual devotion of the people who built it. St. Vitus Cathedral, a gothic masterpiece that dominates Prague's skyline. Our journey concludes at the unique Dancing House. A striking contrast to Prague's traditional architectural landscape, the Dancing House or Tansici Dom in Czech, is a marvel of modern design. Nestled comfortably along the banks of the Vltava River, it's a structure that genuinely dances to its own rhythm. The Dancing House was conceived by the creative minds of Croatian-Czech architect Vlado Milunic and Canadian-American architect Frank Gehry. Gehry is renowned worldwide for his deconstructivist style, and the Dancing House is no exception. With its unusual shape, the building almost seems to sway, as if caught in a dance, hence its name. While the majority of Prague's architecture harks back to styles from centuries past, the Dancing House is a playful nod to contemporary design. It's a building that truly embodies Prague's embrace of the new while still respecting the old. Its distinctive exterior is a blend of static and dynamic elements with one part of the building standing straight and tall, while the other appears to twist and twirl, creating an optical illusion of movement. Its unique design has stirred both admiration and controversy, sparking conversations about the role of modern architecture in historic cities. Regardless of differing opinions, one thing is certain. The Dancing House has become an integral part of Prague's skyline and a symbol of the city's forward-thinking spirit. The Dancing House, an embodiment of Prague's modern spirit.